Hello Leaning Machines, Gentle Machines. Hope you guys are enjoying your day. We're taking off for the race right now. It's 6.18 in the morning, we're going to Ohio. Let's get into this 3D Machines production. We got crushed on the back of the Dura Max. My girlfriend was parked behind me, so we had to do the old switcheroo, but I have no idea where she went. She must have went around the block, but I do know one thing. She made sandwiches. I like sandwiches. Just like that, we're in Ohio. Crush is still on here, which is good. I am very, very impressed that this steel has not rusted as much as it has. They must have some pretty good oil or whatever they put on this stuff to protect it while it's on storage. Because usually steel will rust right out. Crush is all ready to go. I have this panel out because last night I trickle charged the battery. So we have extra cranking amps. We're parked in the bus slash RV spot. That's an RV. Yes, every time I say RV, I have to think of Ed from National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Guy's a savage. We just made it to the event. Now I'm gonna unload Crush. We're gonna have to sign up, then get inspected, and then we'll race in like two and a half hours. Then right after we get inspected, we'll walk the track and check it out, see what it has to offer. But so far, it's kind of looking like New York State kind of terrain, which is really, really good. But that's what I'm used to. We got some machines and machine freaks here at the trailer. We're getting ready to race. The race is in 20 minutes. I got the GoPros all hooked up. I can't remember if my class can have a horn or not, but Jason hooked that up. When I went through tech inspection, this wasn't working. The stator, or the thing that produces electricity for this machine, was producing too much power. So even if you turn this off, the stator was just saying, hey, I got enough power, I'm not turning off. So we failed tech inspection, but all I had to do was put a load on the stator, so all I did was come in here and put the uh, high beams on, and then I went through tech inspection, and then it worked. How do you think you're gonna do today? I don't know. Uh -huh. Wow, you, you did get naked. My name's Tony, and I think he's gonna win. My name's Tyler, and I think he's gonna win. My name's Quaid, and I think he's gonna win. My name's Dustin, and he's definitely gonna win. Yeah, so I appreciate your guys' optimism. I really appreciate that. And while we're talking about appreciation, I also appreciate all the men and women who served for this country and, and died. This day is for you. You guys will not be forgotten. And I, of course, would like to thank all you current veterans. So I'm gonna be stopping in from time to time to kind of explain more of the story on the flipping and the whole race scenario, but let's get started. In this race there were 74 cars and I think there's like four or five maybe six classes I was in the third class you have the you have the pros that are super super fast that are turboed the XC2 I don't know if that that class is turboed or not and then you have X3 and you have sportsman last time I raced sportsman but this time I raced X3 so rows 1 through 10 took off I was in the 11th row and then we took off Go die! I think out of all 74 cars, only two of us didn't have loud exhaust, and that was me and this guy. So I won the whole shot, but I really didn't listen to my victim. I mean, my dad, I kind of came in a little too fast and did this. I guess I got a little bit too much traction with my Max's tires. Three of us, guys, I'm just telling you. We, got five. we need about five or six guys. One, two, three, wait, two, three. John, what are you gonna do? Pushing or what? Oh, excuse me. Go! Give it a second. 
So as you can probably see, Crush's tire isn't on the rim right now. That wasn't affected during the rollover. And also me waving there was me waving my girlfriend to get back behind the stand. I guess she jumped the fence to see if me and my dad were okay, but I told her to just go back. I mean, we got a roll cage, we didn't get hurt at all. So after they rolled us back over, I took the first probably quarter of a mile slowly, but then we got right back into it. Unfortunately, I didn't have two GoPros this round. I only had I only had one. I brought two, but I forgot to put the battery in my helmet cam. So we were only using this mount. So because there's not two camera angles and there's there's only the one, I don't think I'm going to upload it to Patreon. But if you guys want to see it, leave it in the comment section below. I'll upload it to Patreon if you want to see it. All you guys that were at yesterday's live stream, you kind of already know the whole story on Crush. You guys just haven't seen the video. And if you want to stay up to date on live streams, because I do them every once in a while, I do like one every week or one every two weeks, click the post notification button that little bell thing under the video this portion of the video is where I lost my tire well the bead to my tire There was a guy blocking the main trail, so we had to go around and make a sharp turn. Well, I took down a tree. And it wasn't the tree that screwed me up because first of all, the tree was only about that big around and it hit this side. What caused this tire to come off the bead was the fact that I had my wheels completely cranked that way. So towards that way, and then I hit a huge, huge rut and it basically just peeled this tire back like an orange. <laughs> So yes, after I found out my tire was flat, I just stopped racing because I didn't want to break my rim and I didn't want to damage the tire anymore. And yes, I'm a good boyfriend. So I found the nearest cell phone and called my girlfriend, texted her and let her know that I was safe and sound. So I'll explain it in a second, but these are six ply tires. Originally on this machine, they come with two ply. When you're racing these things, you're really not supposed to just run them without tire blocks or tire balls or tire spines. You're supposed to have an aftermarket rim and then you're supposed to put those things inside the tire and then bolt this portion of the rim back on to give you your seal. Yes, I am looking into that. Random machine freak. I took out a tree and then when I went into a turn, I had this tire turn too much and what basically happened was when basically what happened instead of the tire hitting here it hit on the side here and knocked it off the bead i rode without the bead for probably a quarter of a mile and i pulled off i'll tell you what though i got really really good tires because even on this slick stuff we got enough traction to roll this thing what the hell i got you flipping but i didn't get them pushing you back over what the heck i was running to see you we got a roll okay oh my god how was that feeling? I was freaking scared. It, it was scared. quick. It was really, really fast. Yeah? Extremely fast. I was standing there and you flipped and I, I was like in awe and someone's like, isn't that your man? I was like, yeah. And I like hopped the fence. <laughs> I was like, don't judge me. I didn't know what to do. We got a flat tire, so we had to stop. Yeah, someone texted me. Who texted me that? A guy, I uh, just asked him for his phone to let you know. Oh, I called him like eight times. Hey, 
And yes, that's right, then we had to do the load of shame. I hope you guys enjoyed this 3 Machines production. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. I will get to them. Be froggy fresh, be braptastic, be a machine. Until next time, 3D Machines out. Yeah.